Hello everyone, I'm here to follow up on my post about the best knife to use for butternut squash. Obviously they're super tough. There's a few different ways to cut them, but the one that I prefer, in my opinion, is the best one, is the Cutco vegetable knife, right here. So another option that's really great that wasn't in the post yesterday is the butcher knife, which I use all the time for watermelon and some of the bigger vegetables also. And people don't have some of those specialty knives, typically a petite chef knife or the French chef knife, which is a little bit longer, would be a great idea. So sometimes people like to cut it like this down the middle, other times horizontally like this. I'll be doing the horizontal motion and there's a few different things to take note of. So the first part is when you are cutting off the top and the bottom for this, when you're doing it horizontally, you want to make sure you're on the flat surface like this. Now, this one already has a, a flat surface by itself, but if it didn't, I would make a little sliver to make sure that it lays flat and doesn't move around. So you have to cut off here, cut off here, and then we go vertical and cut down the middle. So like I said, I'm going to use the Cutco vegetable knife on the flat side, a little bit up around here past the, uh, the stem. And down. So like I said it's not that easy even with Cutco but if you have a steady hand that was a lot, a lot easier actually wake me because it's away from the stem and then both of these sides are flat now. Now what I like to do make sure there's enough room on this side over here you just push down and then you get it all the way through right like that and you catch it before it goes off the counter. So with this we got perfect halves almost about the same size and then we take the ice cream scoop to get out all that extra stuff in the middle all the seeds like that And I will clean it out a little bit more when I make it. So I don't do anything fancy with these. I pretty much line it all up with, um, with olive oil, a little salt and pepper, and then put it in the oven at 400 for about 45 to 60 minutes, depending on your oven. And then you have the fork that you obviously scrape it out so it looks like that spaghetti. So like I said, it's super easy if you have the right knife and it's sharp, obviously, but you have to be careful when cutting both sides, like I said, rest flat. And then when you're on here, make sure you're using two hands to go all the way down. And like I said, one of the reasons I like this knife the best is because of that rectangular or squared off shape here. It gives me a lot easier, uh, a lot more leverage in pushing down like that. So hope you guys like this. Hope it makes doing the squashes this uh, fall Thanksgiving a little bit easier for you. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments.